Lena Dunham and Jack Antonoff have split. After more than five years together, the pair has parted ways, reps for both confirmed to people. A source says the breakup was amicable. The girl's creator and Bleach's frontman met on a blind date set up by Antonoff's sister and comedian Mike Berbiglia in 2012. The first date went so well, the guitarist quickly told Dunham everything about himself because when you really like someone, do you want them to know everything about you, he told New York in 2014. Shortly after, Antonoff, 33, moved in with Dunham, 31, in her Brooklyn home. Over the course of their romance, Antonoff and Dunham collaborated together on projects, including the Bleachers LP Gone Now, which features spoken word contributions by Dunham. Speaking with people in June, Antonoff said his life at home with Dunham is pretty normal in terms of everyday life, and described their relationship as two people trying to support each other, and trying to find something new and exciting for dinner. Throughout their years-long relationship, the former couple sparked engagement rumors, though they initially vowed not to get married until same marriage became legal in all 50 states. It's hard to imagine when the right time is, because things are so crazy at the moment, Antonoff told New York about the idea of marriage. It just seems like the most fun thing in the world. I've never met people who have kids who haven't looked me in the eye and been like, it's the greatest thing that's ever happened. After the Supreme Court's June 2015 decision in favor of marriage equality, Dunham said she felt a lot of pressure to just go for it that day, but the two wanted to wait for a moment where we feel excited about getting married. I mean, we own a dog together. We own a home together, but the marriage thing is a big deal, she told Ellen DeGeneres in October 2015, adding that S.H.E.S. excited to marry Antonoff at some point. In April 2016, Antonoff gifted Dunham with a beautiful friendship ring, which she showed off on Instagram. Early anniversary gift from Boyfriend of the Year at Jack Antonoff Care of Erie Basin in Brooklyn. Turn of the Century Moonstone Treasure, she wrote. I will so enjoy looking at it while I type words ring brag jewelry bitch friendship ring. Last November, Dunham revealed on Twitter that she thought her longtime boyfriend was going to pop the question, but discovered he was actually in the middle of something else entirely. I thought Jack was furtively planning a proposal to me with his sister, she tweeted. And he just admitted I actually caught him talking s about me. Now I literally can't sleep cause sick him laughing too hard and I am also keeping him awake, she continued. 5.5 years, no rock and you know what is real nice. Dunham said Antonoff was huddled up with his sister and she heard him say her name and the word finger, hence why she thought it seemed like an engagement ring talk. Anyway I want Cardi B's ring, she added, referencing the rapper's jaw-dropping, 8-carat diamond ring from Fiancé Offset. This past October, Dunham and Antonoff celebrated their five-and-a-half-year anniversary, which she celebrated with a photo of the couple donning sweats while out to dinner. Here is the picture that my heart at America Ferreira insisted on taking so we'd have evidence that this is how we dressed for a nice dinner. Our 5.5-year anniversary was yesterday, she wrote on Instagram. Still working hard to impress him in surprising ways. P.S. We independently dressed entirely in merch. Weeks before, she shared how thankful she was for Antonoff and their relationship. Hey it Jack Antonoff remember your weird depression beard remember how depressed it made Emmy your vibe was very just divorced my childhood sweetheart, getting into cigars and stuff. So glad that Faze is behind us, she captioned a sweet Instagram photo of the couple walking arm in arm. So glad we've been together long enough to have phases. I miss you, come home soon. E! News was first to report the news of their split.